So we're going to do our theoretically evening um, practice of meditation. Um, and so tonight, instead of me doing all of the mantras aloud, um, I'm going to just do the first one. Um, and then for the rest of the mantras, we're going to try at our own speed. And if you don't get as many done as... Um, I anticipate or as I've left time for, don't worry about it because we've done so many Vajrasattva mantras today, you'll have covered it, right? So when you're at home, of course, you'll go at your own speed, but it's good to start practicing, trying to get your mouth around all the syllables in the way that you would do it at home. So at home, you'd not be necessarily chanting out every single syllable. You'd be like, oh my God you know, just whispering under the breath like that. So we'll try that this session. So I'll still walk you through it, but it'll be a little bit more internal this time. All right, so into good meditation posture, grab your mala if you don't already have it. And we'll start with refuge in bodhicitta. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. Connecting with refuge. Whether it's repeating the words in your mind or connecting with the essence, let refuge touch your heart. And now visualize about four inches above your head is an open white lotus upon which is a moon disk. Vajrasattva is seated upon this. His holy body is translucent white and adorned with the six ornaments and clothes of celestial silks. In his right hand is a Vajra, symbolic of great bliss. In his left hand is a bell, symbolic of the wisdom of emptiness. The Vajra and Bell together signify his attainment of the enlightenment state, the inseparable unity of the wisdom and form bodies. At his heart is a moon disk with the seed syllable whom at its center and the letters of Vajrasattva's hundred syllable mantra standing clockwise around its edge. So stabilize the visualization. Vajrasattva above your crown facing the same direction as you, radiantly white, three-dimensional and real. Connecting refuge with the visualization. And generating the power of regret. The negative karma I've accumulated from beginning this time is as extensive as the ocean. Although I know that each negative action leads to countless eons of suffering, it seems that I'm constantly striving to create nothing but negative actions. Even though I try to avoid non-virtue and practice positive acts, day and night, without respite, negativities and ethical downfalls come to me like rainfall. 
I lack the ability to purify these faults so that no trace of them remains. With these negative imprints in my mind, death will come, suddenly and without warning. I could find myself falling to an unfortunate rebirth. My closest friend could be suffering there even now. I may be tormented there by my this time next year. What can I do? Please, Vajrasattva, with your great compassion, guide me from such misery. And so reflect on past negative actions. Starting with the body. and shift, reflecting on negativities of speech, and switch to reflecting on negativities of mind.
and from the whom at Vajrasattva's heart, light radiates in all directions, requesting the Buddhas to bestow their blessings. They accept the request and send white rays of light and nectar, the essence of which is the knowledge of their body, speech, and mind. The light and nectar absorb into the whom and letters of the mantra at Vajrasattva's heart. They then fill his whole body completely, enhancing the magnificence of his appearance and increasing the brilliance of the mantra at his heart until it shines with the light of 100,000 moons reflected by snowy mountains. And while reciting the mantra, rays of white light and nectar stream continuously from the human mantra at Vajrasattva's heart. They flow down through the crown of your head and fill every cell of your body and mind with infinite bliss. Your disturbing attitudes and negativities in general, particularly those of the body, take the form of black ink. Sickness takes the form of plus and blood. Afflictions caused by spirits appear in the form of scorpions, snakes, frogs, and crabs. Flushed out by the light and nectar, they all leave your body through the lower openings, like filthy liquid flowing from a drain pipe. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Deno Padishta Dito Mebawa Sudokayo Mebawa Supokayo Mebawa Anorakto Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahu and doing six at your own speed under your breath Om Vajrasapa Samaya Feel completely empty of these problems and negativities. They no longer exist anywhere. Your disturbing attitudes and the imprints of negativities of speech take the form of liquid tar. The light and nectar fill your body as water fills a dirty glass. The negativities like dirt rise to the top and flow out through the upper openings of your body, your eyes, ears, mouth, nose, etc. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Deno Bhadishta Jiro Mebawa Sudokayo Mebawa Supokayo Mebawa Anorakto Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sattva Ahum Pe Continuing six under your breath Om Vajrasapa Samaya.
feel completely empty of these problems and negativities. They no longer exist anywhere. Your disturbing attitudes and the imprints of mental activities appear as darkness at your heart. As you recite the mantra, immeasurable and unimaginably powerful rays of white light and nectar pour down from Vajrasattva's heart and penetrate the crown of your head. When struck by the forceful stream of light and nectar, the darkness instantly vanishes. It's like turning on a light in a room. The darkness does not go anywhere. It simply ceases to exist. Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajrasattva Deno Bharisha Dido Me Bhava Sudo Kaya Me Bhava Supo Kaya Me Bhava Ano Rakto Me Bhava Sawa Siddhi Me Prayata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Triyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagav Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pe Finishing six under your breath Om Vajrasapa Samaya. Feel that you are completely empty of all these problems. They are non-existent. Vajrasattva is extremely pleased and says, my spiritual child of the essence, all your negativities, obscurations, and degenerated vows have now been completely purified. And so say to Vajrasattva, as well as to yourself. I shall not create these negative actions from now on until. Being specific, being practical, plans for body, speech, and mind.
And then add rejoicing. First rejoicing in your own positive actions. All of the positive effort you put in today. Hearing, contemplating, meditating. As well as all the kindnesses you've offered people, animals, in between sessions. All the goodness in your life in general. and include rejoicing in the people in your life. Rejoicing in strangers doing positive work. All sentient beings. Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Gurus. And with delight, Vajrasattva melts into light and dissolves into you. Your body, speech, and mind become inseparably one with Vajrasattva's holy body, speech, and mind. In emptiness, there is no I, creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. There is no negative karma created. And with this awareness of emptiness, dedicate the merits. Due to this merit, may I soon attain the enlightened state of Vajrasattva, that I may be able to liberate all sentient beings from their sufferings. May the precious Bodhi mind not yet born arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. Okay.
Okay. Have a nice night, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.